Hi everyone, welcome you to 9th class. This is Shubha Puroit. I teach physics which is a part of science and the subject code number is 086 which is prescribed by CBSC board. This is the course structure for the academic year 2020-21 and it has 5 units. The first one is matter, its nature and behavior which carries 23 marks and it is purely chemistry. Second one, organization in the living world which carries 20 marks and it is biology. Unit 3, motion, force and work which carries 27 marks and it is purely physics. Unit 4 and Unit 5, our environment, food, food production which carries together 10 marks and total 80 marks and internal assessment for PT and assignment will be given 20 marks and total for you people it is 100 marks. CBS is prescribed for science subject in CRT textbook and in cbsc.nic.org website you will find in science what all are the themes as well as the lesson Described by CBSC board, which I am going to give in detail. In physics, the theme is given moving things, people, and idea, where from the last table, unit 3, motion, force, and work, which I have told you people, which carries 27 marks, has 5 lessons in NCRT textbook. That is, first one motion, second one force and loss of motion, third one gravitation. Fourth one, work and energy, and fifth one, sound. Similarly, chemistry has a theme that is matter, nature, and behavior. And in last table, it is given unit one, matter, nature, and behavior, which has four lessons in NCRT textbook. That is given first one, matter in our surroundings. Second one is matter around us is pure. Third one, atoms and molecules. Fourth one, structure of the atom. And next comes to biology. The theme for the biology is given. The world of living, natural resources and food. There are three themes given. In that, there are three units. That is unit two, organization in the living world. Unit four, our environment. Unit five, food production, which you can see in the last table. And it has six lessons in NCRT textbook. They are first one, the fundamental unit of life, second one, tissues, third one, diversity in living organisms, fourth one, why do we fall ill, fifth one, natural resources, and sixth one, improvement in food resources. Dear students, as I told you, I take physics and in that I have chosen sound lesson which is chapter 12 in NCRT textbook. In this module you are going to learn about what is sound, production of sound, propagation of sound, nothing but movement of sound and next one sound waves are longitudinal waves where you are going to learn about the nature of sound wave and next one you are going to learn about characteristics of sound waves like amplitude, frequency, wavelength etc and next topic you are going to learn about reflection of sound waves and next range of hearing and the next one application of ultrasound and the last one structure of human ear and at the end of the topic we are going to discuss about exercise question answers sound and production of sound Sound is a form of energy which gives sensation of hearing. Already you have learned in your lower classes. Next, vibration is the main cause for sound energy. To understand this, let us do a small activity. For that, I want everybody, you hold your finger on a speaker of your mobile or a laptop or whichever source you are using. Are you ready students? Whether your fingers are on the speakers? We are the sounds of the streets. Ooh, da, da, we are, da, da, ooh, 
Isn't it vibrating sound students? Enjoy? Yeah, even you felt a vibration during music and all you people felt vibration in your mind also. Yes children, vibration is the main cause for sound. Sound even can be produced by plucking, scratching, blowing, rubbing, shaking. By doing so, we are actually setting the objects into vibration and sound produces. Here, vibration means a kind of to and fro motion of an object. Here to and fro motion means back and forth motion. Now let us understand propagation of sound. That means how sound travels in a medium. The matter or a substance to which sound is transmitted is called a medium. It can be solid, liquid or gas. Remember, sound moves through a medium from the point of generation to the listener. When an object vibrates, it sets the other particles of the medium around it vibrating. The particles do not travel all the way from the vibrating object to the ear. We can observe each and every particle how they vibrates in a medium. A below diagram where simple dots, the two red dots, will show you people along with the black dots the vibration in their mean position. Now let us understand how sound waves reaches to your ear. For that, imagine a particle of a medium in contact with a vibrating object and that is first displaced from its equilibrium position. That means mean position then exerts a force on the adjacent particle. As a result, the adjacent particle gets displaced from its mean position or position of rest. After displacing the adjacent particle, the first particle comes back to its original position. This process continues in the medium with the millions of all the particles and that reaches to your ear and you can able to hear. In below figure, you can observe how those particles are shown with the wave formation and that below wave represents a sound wave. Remember students, the disturbance created by a source of a sound in the medium travel through a medium and not the particles of the medium. Based on this, we can define wave. Then what is wave? A wave is a disturbance that moves through a medium when the particles of a medium set neighboring particles into motion. The particles of the medium do not move forward themselves, but the disturbance is carried forward. This is what happens during propagation of a sound in a medium. Thus, sound waves are called mechanical waves. Remember, particles are the main cause to move or to generate sound waves. Hence, we call Sound waves are mechanical in nature. The below figure shows a particles forming sound waves, which we call it as compression and refraction. Let us understand what is compression and refraction. Compressions and refractions. These two are interesting things. Let us see how they form in a medium. Air is the most common medium through which sound travels. When vibrating object moves forward, it pushes and compresses the air in front of it, creating a region of high pressure. This region is called compression. This compression starts to move away from the vibrating object. When the vibrating object moves backward, it creates a region of low pressure called refraction. You can observe both high pressure and low pressure in a beside figure where there are more particles shown which we have represented with the C and in a wave it is represented with the crest is called high pressure. 
and where number of particles shown less in a figure and that is represented with the r and that is represented in a wave as a trough remember children high pressure means more number of particles low pressure means less number of particles those forms compression and refraction in a medium when the object moves back and forth rapidly a series of compressions and refraction is created in the air particles and these make the sound wave that propagates through the medium compressions region of a high pressure and the refraction is a region of low pressure the formation of compression and refraction can understand with the help of pressure also here pressure is related to the number of particles of a medium in a given volume more density of the particle in the medium gives more pressure and vice versa thus propagation of sound can be visualized as the propagation of density variations or pressure variations in the medium a simple example is shown with the tuning fork and here refraction compression with the pressure variations is shown dear students observe this animation clearly where you understand how the particles are moving back and forth motion how the pressure variations is taking place and how high region and low region creating to form compression and refraction dear students below figure shows about density variation here density of particles in a medium is nothing but number of particles in unit volume observe clearly the meaning of density variation now let us understand pressure variation pressure variation is represented by number of lines in unit volume you can see in below animation how the pressure variation is represented with the lines you have learned in this first video about what is sound what is the cause for sound and how compression and refraction is formed bye take care and ready for solving worksheet now the time for solving worksheet so this worksheet children and the questions are here first one what is sound how is it produced second one why sound waves are called mechanical waves third one what is compression and refraction explain with the diagram bye take care